the inert pair effect. In this video, we'll use electron configurations to explain the inert pair effect. I mentioned this very briefly in some of the fundamental videos, and now we can use electron configurations to explain it. In this section of the periodic table that I have shown here, we noticed a pattern where the ions that were stable formed this pattern of a difference of two. We have indium plus one, indium plus three, tin plus two, tin plus four, antimony plus three, antimony plus five. Let's use the electron configurations to explain. So first we'll write out the electron configuration for antimony. Using your full periodic table, you can see that this would be 5s2, 4d10, 5p3. Since we're only concerned about the valence electrons, that's all I wrote. Now, how can we make these into stable ions? For antimony, you would want to first remove three electrons from the p block. Because if you're in the p block, you remove from the highest energy orbitals, or the p's. Leaving us with 5s2, 4d10. But now we're into that d block. And so we know that when we're in the d block, we always remove the s orbitals first, or the electrons in the s orbitals first, which just leaves us with 4d10. Since there were two electrons here, we removed both of them, leaving us with a difference in charge of two. Let's do the same thing for lead. We write out the valence electron configuration. We have 6s2. Now we have the f orbitals in here, so we also have 4f14, 5d10, 6p2. We're in the p block right here, and so we remove from this highest energy orbital first. There's two electrons here, and so to make it stable, to make it mostly filled, or I guess in this case empty, you would remove both. This gives us a plus two charge. So now we have, these are all filled subshells. Since we're now in the d block, we'd want to remove from the s orbitals, because remember, whenever we're in the d block, we don't remove from the d block. We actually remove from the s block first. There's two electrons here, so in order to make fully filled or fully empty subshells, you're gonna wanna remove both. Since you remove two more electrons, you got a plus two more charge, leaving us with plus four total. Two from removing the p's, two from removing the s's. And you can do this with all the rest of them as well, to explain why every one of these has a change of two. It's because of those s orbitals having two electrons in them. So now we've used electron configurations to explain the inert pair.